Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see another grocery haul. So this is about two weeks worth of groceries. I just planned for two weeks this time, not knowing if we might be going out of town at the end of the month. So I just wanted to do a two week haul and it actually did really, really good. So most people usually talk about their grocery budgets and things like that. I don't necessarily ever have like a set amount and um, I kind of have an idea, but never like a set amount, but I really was trying to get my set amount under $400 a month. So let's see if I can do it this month. So far, I went to the grocery store Lids, and it's L-I-D-L, and I spent $167. That should take me through about 15, 16 meals, if not a little bit. Yeah, somewhere around there is what I planned. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. All right, so this is all the groceries. So this is everything I got at Little. It's kind of like a discounted kind of store, but I think it's one of those where you do have to kind of watch your prices. Very comparable to like an Aldi's. So let's just kind of go through everything got some celery I actually have a thing of cauliflower and I'm gonna make some cauliflower soup and freeze some of it because I just haven't eaten the cauliflower and I didn't want it to go bad some mushrooms for a pasta recipe that I do and any of these recipes I talk about I will link in my description box below salad just because if you guys have been around and you've seen my what's for dinner you know that if I made a salad every night they would probably eat it so that's a uh, check off in my box. I actually have some salad, so that's why I got a smaller thing. Uh, these are green bell peppers. I actually only needed one, but they came in a thing of three. So I think I'm actually going to just chop this up, the rest other two up, and freeze them because I know I won't use them. I got a, a bag of lemons because these were on sale. Usually I would just get like two. Red onions, I actually had to get two. I would have just gotten one. And the green peppers, the red onions, and the zucchini that is down here are actually for a recipe that I haven't made in a long time, but I've been making for years. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, so normal stuff, cucumbers, we go through those, we snack on those, use them for salads. Uh, always get grapes for snacks. Got some broccoli. And the broccoli didn't look great, but it was good enough. I got some asparagus. This was on sale for $1.99 per pack, so I got two packs. And we've been really, really liking grilling that lately, so that's been really good. I uh, just got some little tomatoes for our salads. And I got two things of strawberries. These were a little bit more expensive, but I, I felt like the strawberries looked really good. So I just bit the bullet and paid extra. On my stovetop here is all the meat. So this is all the meat I got. I do have some meat already, but not very much. And so this is basically what I needed. I got one thing of hot dogs, a big thing of chicken, which I'm actually gonna split apart for at least two meals. I got a thing of burgers. Uh, and I found that actually having these two things just kind of on hand were really good because um, if I need a quick meal, my husband can grill these, and that has been very, very nice for me personally. And with homeschool starting, because we've actually started homeschool, it, back up, we started June 1st, so we didn't take a huge long summer and all that, and YouTube and all the things. Sometimes mama needs a quick meal. Speaking of quick meals, this is one of our favorite things. It's pulled chicken, and it has kind of like a barbecue sauce on it. It's so good, and it's so quick, easy. Usually I get like a hoagie roll to have with these, um, but they were out, and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? So I just got some Hawaiian rolls, because can you go wrong with Hawaiian rolls? Two things of ground turkey. This was a pretty good price. I wanna say like $2.79. And I use these for tacos, and I actually like it better than ground beef. Speaking of ground beef, I got uh, one thing of ground beef, and I already have some, I think one or two in my freezer. So this is the other side. 
Um, I needed some heavy whipping cream and I'm thinking this was for a soup, but a lot of times I do make just regular whipped cream with it and usually have it with strawberries at night and everybody thinks that's a really good easy dessert. Got two things of milk. I always get this Fairlight milk because it's um, really good for our bellies. People can digest it much better in my household. Just grab some extra virgin olive oil. That was actually the cheapest one. That's why I grabbed it, but I was out. Um, one thing of orange juice. This definitely won't last the two weeks, but when it's gone, it's gone. Um, I needed actually some fettuccine noodles for a pasta recipe that I will link below. It's a really good, it's like a lemon pasta. And sometimes I put chicken, sometimes I don't. Couldn't find them, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna try it with these noodles and see if it's good. I used all the peanut butter, so I got some peanut butter buns for hot dogs and hamburgers. Uh, this was kind of a splurge, and I got it last time. If you have seen my last grocery haul, if not, I'll link it right here. It was a um, already done like pico de gallo. Not that I couldn't make this myself, and what I make is actually better, but just the convenience of it, it was nice to have, and that's why I got these chips. I really like these chips, um, and they were, they're really, really cheap. Uh, just got a big thing of cheese, and I figured we could use that for all the things. And when I'm trying to buy cheese, and I don't want to buy a whole bunch of separate ones, unless I just need mozzarella or something like that, I usually tend to buy like a blend. And this time, I don't know why I grabbed the Mexican one, but this will work. But um, usually I just buy like a Colby Jack because it's a mix of like white and cheddar type of thing. And that actually works really good. So if you're trying and you need to get kind of like a bulk amount, that has been the best thing that has worked for me. A uh, crescent roll, and this is for the one of the casseroles that I'm making. And I needed feta cheese for that casserole as well. This was totally my husband's splurge. It was... Um, Pistachios, they were kind of expensive, like $11.99, but he wanted them. Uh, this is actually what I went to this particular store for. It's the only thing that I know this store carries at. I've never seen it in any other stores, but there are these like mini wontons. You can heat them up. They heat up like in the microwave, and they're so good. Um, they only had one bag, and every time I go, they only have one bag. So it might be, I'm sure everybody else loves it as much as I do. They had these next to them, so I just grabbed these, and I was going to try them, the same brand. We'll see. I needed some cottage cheese and sour cream for noodle bake, and I do the Pioneer Woman's recipe of her, like, noodle bake recipe. So good, family favorite, everybody loves it. My little guy ran out of Cheerios, so I got those for him, and two things of eggs that will get us through, because I already have... Um, I think one or like a good majority of one. Just some butter because I wasn't sure if I needed more so I just thought I'll grab some. This is the other splurge and got some Eggos because these are real convenient when I'm trying to get work done in the morning. My son can just make these himself. And potatoes. I've been really liking making bulk like cutting up potatoes and roasting them and then having them in my refrigerator all week to eat and that's been working out really good for me. Okay guys, so that is it for this Sunday afternoon. I am going to go put this stuff away and get a whole bunch of other things done. But I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you in my next brand new video.